Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, I'm here today to provide an update regarding human remains that were located on the 26th of July 2022 by a bushwalker in the Hale Conservation Park, which is situated two kilometres southeast of Williamstown. <coughs> Sadly, those human remains uh, through DNA and analysis have been identified as those of Ian Lees, uh, who was 53 years of age. Ian was reported missing on the 4th of March this year by a family member after last being seen on the 1st of March this year. It's evident to us um, from our investigation to date that Ian had suffered significant physical injuries and as a result of that um, and due to the circumstance of his disappearance, the location as to where his body was located and the injuries received, his disappearance has now been declared a major crime as a suspected murder. Just uh, the investigation is in its infancy and I just ask for understanding there are some things that I won't be able to say um, currently which may compromise the criminal investigation which has commenced. Ian was 53 years of age. Um, he was a very social person and he had a large friendship group. He had a keen interest and knowledge of football at all levels and enjoyed debating statistics on that topic. <clears throat> Ian left his home address at Modbury North at about 6.30 p.m. on the 28th of February this year. He was last seen at about 2.48 a.m. walking in a northerly direction on Fairley Avenue at Modbury North. On the 1st of March 2022, Ian's mobile phone was located at Civic Park Modbury by council workers and that's the park that's immediately opposite uh, Tea Tree Plaza. On the 4th of March, due to concerns for his whereabouts, uh, Ian was reported missing by a family member. Subsequently, Ian's belongings, including a backpack, wallet, keys and thongs, were located in bushes in the reserve, which is at the end of Fairley Avenue at Modbury North. From observations of those articles, it would appear at this time that nothing has been stolen and they were just left there at that location. To date, what we can say is that Ian has made no access to any of his bank accounts. A deposit was made into his bank accounts on the 8th of March. That has not been accessed. We've canvassed all taxis, Ubers and public transport in the area around the time of his disappearance. And to date, we have no leads or don't believe that he has actually left that area in any of those modes of transport. We've conducted a comprehensive investigation into Ian's movements prior to his disappearance. And as I say, we've found that at 2.48am, he's walking in north, a northerly direction on Fairley Avenue, and that's the last time he was seen. It's known that Ian would regularly frequent the area in the vicinity of Modbury North and Tea Tree Plaza. Uh, he, had, he was regularly with a blue heeler dog uh, by the name of Jasper, which um, he would be seen regularly in that area. We're currently searching Ian's home address um, in relation to his suspected murder, but at this time I won't comment any further on that for operational reasons. We're seeking uh, public support in relation to Ian's disappearance and suspected murder. We're fully aware that people have knowledge of what's occurred to Ian, and we seek those people to come forward and speak to the police. We also seek anyone that has information leading up to the events that have led to the circumstances of his death that can support and progress the investigation. In particular, we're after anyone that still may have dash cam footage in the Modbury North area for Ladywood Drive, Montague Road, Fairley Avenue and North East Road between 5pm on the 27th of February 2022 and 9am on the 1st of March 2022. We're also seeking dash cam footage for anyone that may have been in the vicinity of uh, Warren Road at Williamstown, in the vicinity of Hale Conservation Park, from 3am on 1 March 2022 until the 7th of March 2022. Uh, further to that, we're also seeking anyone that might have seen any suspicious ac activity uh, in the vicinity of Hale Conservation Park between the 1st of March and the 7th of March. In particular, where Ian was located, there's a, uh, a public car park and he was located off of a fire track approximately 50 metres uh, in bushland. 
We're currently working on several lines of inquiry and we strongly urge anyone that has information in relation to Ian's disappearance to come forward and advise us as to what they may know to help further this investigation. Also, I'd ask anyone that does have information to ring Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 to talk to detectives tonight between 5pm and 9pm. I'll now take any questions. Is it known if there were any weapons involved? With the nature of the injuries that Ian has sustained, um, we won't speculate as to how those injuries have occurred uh, at this time. Do you know how he got from Rodbury out to the reserve? No, currently we don't. That will form part of the investigation. There's a number of unanswered questions. Uh, as I say, he was last seen at 2.48am. We don't know exactly where his death may have occurred and we're seeking obviously information as to where that's occurred and then how has he ended up at Howell Cons Conservation Park where he is. Do you think it was between the 1st and 7th of March? Is that where you're asking for the dash team of that area? At this stage, we can't narrow it down to exactly that, but we believe it is most likely between those time periods that it has occurred. And can you elaborate why you think that? No, not at this time. Do you believe he was um, possibly killed or was dead before he was found at um, That is one question that we need to answer as part of the investigation. It, it, it's, we don't exactly know whether uh, Ian's death has occurred at an alternate location uh, to where he was located or whether he has been uh, murdered elsewhere and then placed at the location where he was found by the bushwalker. And do you know how long Yeah, we, we believe that Ian had been in that location for a significant time prior to the bushwalkers locating him. And do you believe that's sort of a number of weeks or, or days? No, it'd be months. Months. Yes, okay. most, most likely um, soon after his death. So in that period, in March? Just... M most likely in that period, but as I say, there's a number of questions that are unanswered. The investigation now that we're aware that it is Ian that is the deceased. We now need to answer those questions and, and work our way through that investigation. But as I said, we have a number of lines of inquiry that we're currently investigating. We're currently searching his home address and uh, we hope to get those answers. The payment you're talking about, was that wage or um, social welfare payment, retail payment that was made? No, that, that was a payment that was placed in there by a relative that subsequently hasn't been accessed. Was there any, did he have any disagreements with anyone leading up to him being seen on that CCTV that night? Um, it's fairly evident that he was a very social person and he had a large group of friends. That is one, I suppose, theory that we need to actually identify as to whether he has had an argument prior to his disappearance on that evening and that'll form part of the investigation. Um, obviously, you've spoken to his family <clears throat> like with any family, um, it's extremely difficult when you have someone that has is reported as a missing person and that's extremely difficult where you just don't know where a loved one is and we see that regularly. Obviously, unfortunately in this circumstance, their loved one hasn't returned home and they've had to be informed that it's actually suspected that he's been murdered. So I can't put myself in their place, but I can only imagine uh, how heartbreaking it would be um, because he did have good family support. Are there any other places that you're searching at the moment? Um, any other areas you're claiming for clues or evidence? Uh, no, there isn't. Any reason, sorry, is there any reason to think there's any criminal activity underlying any of this, uh, you know, other than the, the death itself uh, yes. that might provide the backstory to it? As I said, uh, the criminal investigation is in its infancy. We're, we're keeping an extremely open mind in relation to what the motive may be. Um, by all accounts, Ian was a very jovial person and he did have that, that group, of, that social group. So we just don't know what the motive is at this stage um, and that's why we're seeking the public support. Can you rule out anything, drugs? At this stage, it's too early and I won't uh, comment in case we compromise the investigation. Thanks, everyone.